हेलो माय डियर स्टूडियस एंड स्टूडियो स्टूडेंट्स ऑफ सर्जरी माय सेल्फ डॉक्टर महेश चौधरी आई एम वार्म वेलकमिंग यू इन माय सर्जरी लेक्चर सीरीज जिस सर्जरी लेक्चर सीरीज कंटेंट्स एंटायर सर्जरी विथ एनेसेशिया विथ रेडियोलॉजी विथ ऑर्थोपेडिक सो स्टेट यून विथ अस लेट स्टार्ट आवर सर्जरी लेक्चर सीरीज हेलो डियर स्टूडेंट्स टुडे वी आर लर्निंग आवर सर्जरी लेक्चर नंबर फोर्टीन दैट इज द डिज ऑफ द स्प्लीन इन दिस लेक्चर we will learn the anatomy and the physiology of the spleen congenital ab abnormalities of the spleen that is the splenen cooli absence of spleen splenic cysts hematomas of the spleen rupture of spleen anemia type for which splenectomy is required that is the conditions hereditary spherocytosis acquired autoimmune hemolytic anemia that is aiha idiopathic thrombocytopenic purpura that is itp thalassemia or kulid anemia or mediterranean anemia and the sickle cell anemia all these points are covered in this lecture now start the spleen first we will see the anatomy of the spleen the spleen is principally situated in the left hypochondrial region of the abdomen but its posterior end extends into the epigastric region it lies between the fundus of the stomach and the diaphragm Spleen is an organ of mystery and till today we know very little knowledge about the spleen. Now the physiology physiology of the spleen is in early embryonic life the spleen contributes actively to the production of both red cells and white cells which enter in the circulation from fifth month and onwards. Spleen gradually loses its hemopoietic function but retains the capability throughout the life. Abnormal and aged erythrocytes abnormal granulocytes normal and abnormal platelets and cellular debris are cleared by the spleen the abnormally shaped and rigid cells red cells are destroyed by cooling cooling means to filtering filtering and phagocytosis of old rbc normal red cell usually travels the splenic circulation and may undergo repair by having surface abnormalities such as pits and spurs removed over activity of splenic function leading to accelerated removal of any or all of the circulating cellular elements of the blood which may result anemia leukopenia thrombocytopenia is known as hypersplenism this is the diagram you uh, seeing on your screen that is the spleen and blood supply of the spleen you can see on your uh, screen this is the another image of spleen there is a lymphatic system also now the third function of the spleen is neutrophils removed from the circulation destruction of neutrophils leading to neutropenia accelerated platelet destruction in the spleen may account for thrombocytopenia in all in specific and non specific immune responses propadin that is the an immunoglobulin fixes complement to bacterial or fungal surface prior to phagocytosis macrophages and histiocytes of the spleen remove bacteria and foreign body encapsulated bacteria which resist antibody binding are also removed phagocytosis of abnormal lipoids is the cause of the splenic enlargement in lipoid dystrophies production of specific antibodies especially that is the immunoglobulin m that is the igm now the congenital abnormalities Congenital abnormalities of the spleen are quite rare. That contains the splenic cooli, absence of splenic cyst, hematoma, first splenic cooli. Single or multiple accessory spleens, that is the 50% of accessory spleen are found near the hilum of the spleen. 30% are behind the body and tail of the pancreas. A few accessory spleens are seen in the splenic ligaments and mesocolon. Second congenital abnormality of the spleen is the absence of spleen. This condition is extremely rare. These patients are often liable to fatal infection associated with congenital abnormalities of heart. Third congenital abnormality of the spleen is splenic cyst, mainly true cyst from the embryonal rest. Fourth congenital abnormality of the spleen is hematoma. Hematoma of spleen are two types, lymphoid hematoma and vascular hematoma. This is the diagram seen on the screen of the splenic cooli and second is the cyst of the spleen third is also the images of the ct scan of the cyst of the spleen and fourth is the image of the hematoma of the spleen now rupture of the spleen etiology most common intra abdominal organ injured in blunt trauma spleen is also injured by the blunt trauma there is a various ruptures of the spleen like penetrating trauma due to the penetrating trauma gunshot wounds missiles and stabbing wound 
नन पेनेट्रेटिंग ट्रामा लाइक अटोमोबाइल एक्सिडेंट वेरियस स्पोर्ट्स इंजुरी अपरेटिव ट्रामा मे अकर्स फ्रॉम रिट्रैक्टर्स ओनली इन टू पर्सेंट ऑफ ऑपरेशन स्पॉन्टेनियस रप्चर मे ओनली अकोर वेन द स्प्लीन इज पैथोलॉजिक सच रप्चर मे अकर्स फ्रॉम माइनर ट्रामा रप्चर्स मोर इजीली वेन इट इज इन लार्ज इन इन्फेक्शंस एंड मोनोन्यूक्लियस और मलेरिया पैथोलॉजी वेरी फ्रॉम द सिंपल ट्रांसफर टीयर ऑफ द पेरेन काइमा टू ट्रांसफर क्रैक ऑफ द हाइलस दीज आर द इमेजेस ऑफ द रप्चर ऑफ द स्प्लीन यू आर सींग ऑन योर स्क्रीन दिस इज द सेकेंड इमेज ऑफ रप्चर ऑफ स्प्लीन थ्री टाइप्स ऑफ रप्चर इज देयर एक्यूट रप्चर डिलेड रप्चर एंड अकोल्ड स्प्लीनिक रप्चर फर्स्ट एक्यूट रप्चर मोस्टली ड्यू टू द ब्लड ट्रॉमा इज फीचर बाय इमिजिएट इंट्रापेरेटोनल ब्लीडिंग पेशेंट सकम्स रैपिडली गिविंग नो चांस टू इनिशिएट प्रॉपर ट्रीटमेंट इनिशियल शॉक फ्रॉम वेयर द पेशेंट रिकवर्स बाय ट्रीटमेंट रिवीलिंग साइंस ऑफ रप्चर स्प्लीन फॉर्चुनेटली दिस इज मच मोर कॉमन डिलेड रप्चर आफ्टर एन इंटरवल ऑफ अ फ्यू डेज टू वीक्स आफ्टर इंजुरी सडन इंट्रापेरेटोनल ब्लीडिंग स्टार्ट अकोल्ड स्प्लीनिक रप्चर वेन ट्रॉमेटिक सीडियोसिस्ट ऑफ द स्प्लीन इज डायग्नोस Now the clinical features of the rupture of the spleen are same degree of shock due to the hypovolemic tachycardia low blood pressure restlessness increasing pallor and signing respiration local bruising and tenderness in left upper quadrant of the abdomen now the care sign what is the care sign pain may be referred to the tip of the left shoulder due to irritation of the under surface of the diaphragm with blood and the pain is referred to the left shoulder through the affected fibers of phrenic nerves that is the c4 and c5 a palpable tender mass can be felt in left upper quadrant with persistent dullness known as the balance sign now this is called as a care sign special initiation is to be done in the rupture of the spleen is hematocrit values may be reduced straight x ray probable finding in x ray obliteration of the splenic flexure these are the findings in the straight x ray obliteration of the splenic flexure and enlarged splenic shadow obliteration of swath shadow indentation of the left side of the gastric shadow widening of the space between the splenic flexure and the preperitoneal pad of fat elevation of the left side of the diaphragm free fluid between gas filled intestinal coils fracture of one or more lower ribs on left side a normal well outlined spleen indicates intact spleen on straight x ray now the next investigation is the splenic angiography can be demonstrate splenic injury Ultrasonography will show hematoma surrounding the splenic capsule with reasonable accuracy. Next invention is isotope scans with the use of the technetium sulfur colloid are popular in diagnosis of splenic rupture in acute cases. CT scan the most accurate method available for diagnosis of splenic injury. Treatment immediate laparotomy and splenectomy is the life saving procedure. The peritoneal cavity should be well toileted. Blood transfusion is mandatory. changing concepts in the treatment of ruptured spleen considering spleen's important role in cellular and humoral immunity and considering the danger of severe bacterial infection in a splenic patient conservatism is now adopted in many centers nowadays practically splenic tomy and splenography and capsule repair have been used in many centers also also now the next point in this lecture is the anemia for which splenic tomy is required which are those condition in which the splenectomy is mandatory or essential the first condition is hereditary spherocytosis this is a transmitted as an autosomal dominant trait this condition is not uncommon and is the most common of the symptomatic familiar hemolytic anemias erythrocytes membrane deficiency of spectrum a major component of red cell membrane responsible for strength of membrane and shape of the red cells the normal red cells is a flexible bioconcave disc but in this condition shape are disturbed these parasites are trapped in the splenic red pulp and destroyed by the reticulo endothelial cells this is the diagram image seeing on your screen that is the normal red cells are in oval shape or round in shape and parasites cystoskeleton inside the cell there is a protein and uh, in the defected uh, cell there is a defected protein seen in the in this image now the clinical features of hereditary spherocytosis are the anemia jaundice splenomegaly and reticulocytosis investigations fragility test reticulo endothelial count excess destruction of rbc fecal irobilirubin will also be increased now the treatment of hereditary spherocytosis are only treatment available for this condition is 
only splenectomy. Second condition in which the splenectomy is needed that is the acquired autoimmune hemolytic anemia that is AIHA. Etiology formation of an antibody produced by the body against its own red cells probably spleen may serve as a source of antibody. Both warm and cold antibodies have been described. Warm antibodies are IgG, immunoglobulin G. Cold antibodies are IgM, binds to the red cells mainly in peripheral circulation where blood temperature is lower. Cold antibodies cause immediate intravascular hemolysis and destruction of sensitized red cells by the liver. There are patients usually suffer from chronic hemolysis that is worsened by exposure to cold and show acrocyanosis that is the Reynolds phenomenon due to intracapillary red cells agglutination. Clinical features more frequently over 50 years of age. Female and male ratio are 2 as to 1. Splenomegaly. Sir, hemolysis may produce hemoglobinuria and acute tubular necrosis. This is the image on your screen. You are seeing there is the autoimmune hemolytic anemia AIHA. Two types mainly warm AIHA and cold AIHA. Both have two types primary and secondary. Primary and secondary. In the warm AIHA, secondary has infectious, immunodeficiency, lymphoproliferative, autoimmune and drug exposures. And in cold AIHA, secondary have two types, lymphoproliferative and infectious. Now the special investigations in AIHA, positive direct combs test, production of red cell destruction are found in the blood, urine and the stool. Treatment, corticosteroids and blood transfusion are main treatment. Splenectomy is usually performed when steroids are ineffective in such cases. When complications preclude the use of steroids, if toxic manifestations of steroid becomes apparent, if steroids are contraindicated for same reasons, in case of warm antibody hemolytic anemia. Now the third condition is idiopathic thrombocytopenic purpura that is the ITP. Etiology, autoimmunity which damage the patient's own platelets, transfused platelets also have a short survival time, clinical features. Female and male ratio are 3 as to 1. Pitechi or purpuric patches or echinomoses in the skin and mucous membrane. Tendency to spontaneous bleeding revealed by bleeding gum, epistaxis, GI hemorrhage, hematuria, hemarthrosis, menorrhagia. Special investigations is to be done in this idiopathic cytopenic purpura. Special investigations, platelet count reduced up to the 50,000 or less, blood transfusion prolonged and CT remains normal, bleeding time, bone marrow exams reveals megakaryocytes, treatment, about 80% of patients make complete and permanent recovery without specific therapy. A short course of prednisolone therapy may be prescribed. The next condition of anemia in which the splenectomy is required that is the thalassemia that is also called as a Coolidge anemia also called as a Mediterranean anemia. Main defect is in hemoglobin polypeptide chain synthesis. Specific pairs of genes are responsible for synthesis of alpha, beta, gamma and delta chain of the hemoglobin molecules. And deficiency of synthesis of one of these chains will lead to thalassemia. Beta thalassemia is most common type in which there is a quantitative reduction in the rate of beta chain synthesis. When abnormal genes are inherited from both parents, homozygous thalassemia major results. Heterozygous patients show mid anemia and term thalassemia minor. Homozygous alpha thalassemia is incomplete with life and these infants are either stillborn or die shortly after birth. Here is the image you are seeing on your screen that is the thalassemia, another image of thalassemia, red cells. Now the clinical features of thalassemia major are usually manifested in the first year of life. Pallor, retarded body growth and enlargement of head with typical thalassemic faces. Splenomegaly and hepatomegaly, thalassemia minor, lead normal life, mild anemia, mild jaundice and mild splenomegaly. Special investigations is to be done in this uh, thalassemia, established by the smear revealing hypochromic microcytic anemia. On hemoglobin electrophoresis, almost complete absence of HBA and presence of large amount of HBF. Treatment, repeated transfusion required at regular intervals, minor thalassemic do not require treatment. And fifth condition of anemia in which the splenectomy is needed that is the sickle cell anemia. This condition is also hereditary hemolytic anemia seen predominantly in blacks. Diseases is characterized by presence of sickle and crescent shaped erythrocytes. Normal HBA is replaced by abnormal sickle hemoglobin that is HBS. Presence of HBA in parts the sickle shape of deoxygenated red cells which is responsible for this disease. 
द सिकल सेल्स देम सेल्स कंट्रीब्यूट टू इंक्रीज ब्लड विस्कोसिटी एंड सर्कुलेटरी स्टेसिस द कॉन्सिक्वेंस इज थ्रोमोसिस विच मे लीड टू इस्टिमिया क्लिनिकल फीचर्स ऑफ सिकल सेल एनिमिया आर द एनिमिया इज द मोस्ट कॉमन साइन पेशेंट्स विथ सिकल सेल क्राइसिस कंप्लेनिंग ऑफ सीवियर एबडोमिनल पेन क्रैम्स ड्यू टू विसरल अर्टेल स्टेसिस स्टिमुलेटिंग एंड एक्यूट एबडोमिन न्यूरोलॉजिकल मैनिफेस्टेशन और अल्सर ओवर द मेलियोलाइन दिस इज द इमेज ऑफ सिकल सेल एनिमिया इन विच द इरेट्रॉइड्स आर द क्रिसेंट शेप दिस इज द सेकेंड इमेज सिकल शेप सेल्स आर सींग एंड देर इज ऑल्सो नॉर्मल सेल ओवल शेप राउंड शेप नाउ द स्पेशल इन्वेस्टिगेशन शुड बी परफॉर्म इन सिकल सेल एनिमिया दैट इज द कन्फर्म बाय प्रेजेंस ऑफ कैरेक्टरिस्टिक्स सिकल सेल और ब्लड स्मियर एंड हिमोग्लोबिन इलेक्ट्रोफोरिस शोज प्रिडोमिनेटली हिमोग्लोबिन एंड वेरिएबल अमाउंट्स ऑफ एच बी एफ एंड नो एच बी ए लिकोसाइटोसिस विथ इंक्रीज नंबर ऑफ प्लेटलेट्स ट्रीटमेंट कंजर्वेटिव ट्रीटमेंट सोडियम साइनेट टू प्रिवेंट सिकलिंग ऑफ एच बी एस ब्लड ट्रांसफ्यूजन टू मेंटेन एडिकुएट हिमोग्लोबिन परसेंटेज और हिमोग्लोबिन लेवल मिसलिनियस डिसीज विच मे बी बेनिफिटेड बाय द स्प्लिनिक टॉमी आर माइलर्ड मेटाप्लेजिया फिल्टिस सिंड्रोम गाउचर्स डिसीज एंड सर्कोइडोसिस डियर स्टूडेंट्स हियर इज द एंड ऑफ आवर सर्जरी लेक्चर नंबर फोर्टीन दैट इज द डिसीजेज ऑफ द स्प्लिन थैंक यू